We'll start out with a Tomberry head with dark green yarn, first row, magic circle six. Second row, six increases, you'll have 12 stitches at the end. Row three, and you're going to do this sequence six times, one single crochet, then one increase. You'll have 18 stitches at the end. Row four, two single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, you'll have 24. Row five, three single crochet, one increase. Repeat this six times, you'll have 30. Row six, four single crochets, one increase, repeated six times, you'll have 36 at the end. Row seven, five single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, you'll have 42 at the end. For row eight, six single crochet, one increase, repeat this six times, you'll have 48 at the end. Rows nine through 14, you're just going to do 48 single crochets for each row. Row 15, four single crochets, one decrease, we'll repeat that eight times and you'll end up with 40 stitches at the end. Row 16, 40 single crochets. Row 17, three single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that eight times, you'll have 32 stitches at the end. Row 18, eight single crochets, then do the sequence five times, one decrease, one single crochet. 
then nine single crochets, and you'll have 27 at the end. Row 19, eight single crochets, one decrease, one single crochet, repeat that sequence four times, then seven single crochets. You'll end up with 23 stitches at the end. Row 20, one single crochet, one decrease, repeat it twice, then five decreases, then one single crochet, one decrease, repeat it twice, then one single crochet. You'll have 14 stitches at the end. Finish off and stuff. You're going to be picking up stitches around the opening of the head, go through both loops, and you will not be working in rounds for this section. Create a slip stitch, chain two in the first stitch. This is going to count as one single crochet. Now single crochet again in the same stitch. Then you're going to do 13 increases across the, uh, the top. And at the end, you're going to chain one and turn. For rows two through seven, you're gonna do 28 single crochets, and at the end of each one, you're gonna chain one and turn. For row eight, you're going to do seven single crochets. Then you're gonna do one increase, one single crochet, repeated seven times. After that, seven single crochets. You'll end up with 35 stitches at the end. For rows 9 through 11, you're going to do 35 single crochets for each. Be sure to chain one and turn at the end of each. Row 12 is going to be our final row. You're going to do the 35 single crochet across. But at the end, instead of chain one and turning, you're going to slip stitch across the gap into the very first stitch of this row. So you'll be in essence closing the gap. We're going to close this, the gap at the bottom of the body. Um, we're going to go back to working in continuous rounds. We're going to be working in back loops only for this part, um, for row one. Create a slip stitch and pick up a stitch, stitch close to the gap on his back. Um, chain two. This will count as your as one single crochet, and then you're just going to do 34 single crochets all around the bottom.
for the rest of this, we're going to go back to using both loops. Um, you're going to do the sequence one decrease, then one single crochet. There might be a kitty paw on the back. Um, you should have somewhat of a flat surface when you're finished, but uh, you're going to continue to do the one decrease, one single crochet until it's co the gap's completely closed. Go ahead and finish off and tie up any holes in the bottom. And now you're going to go ahead and sew up the back as you will, as well, uh, stuff as you go. Be careful not to overstuff. You, st you want it to be firm, but you don't want it to overstuff. You want to make sure that the, uh, the flat bottom doesn't become round. Now we're gonna work on his boots slash feet. We'll be making two of these. For row one, chain eight. You're gonna one increase, four single crochet, one half double crochet, and then seven double crochet in the very last chain. Then you're going to work down the opposite side of this chain. You're going to one half double crochet, four single crochets, and then one increase. You don't want to join. You're going to continue this in rounds. You'll have 21 stitches at the end. For row two, you're going to do two increases, seven single crochet, three increases, eight single crochet, and then one increase. You'll have 27 at the end.
for row three, um, for this particular row only, we're going to do black loops. Uh, so seven single crochet, one half double crochet, 11 double crochet, one half double crochet, and then seven single crochets. You'll have 27 at the end. For row four, one single crochet, one decrease. You're gonna repeat that nine times and you'll have 18 stitches at the end. For row five, you're gonna do one single crochet one decrease and repeat that six times and you'll have 12 stitches at the end. For row six, this will be your final row. You'll do one single crochet and one decrease. Repeat that four times, and you'll have eight stitches at the end. Go ahead and finish off, but make sure you leave a long tail because we'll use that to attach it to the body, as well as to close up, it, close up any holes if you desire. Stuff lightly. You don't want to overstuff this. We want to make sure that he continues to remain flat when he's standing. Um, so you don't want to overstuff it to where it's too round. You want to make sure to keep it shaped. Once you have two, you're going to attach it to the body in a V-like shape. You want to make sure that you get where he kind of has his little belly. You can see the front from there. Now starting with this tail, we're going to go back to the green yarn for row one, magic circle four. Row two, four single crochet. Row three, one increase, then one single crochet. You repeat that two times, you'll have six stitches at the end. Row four, one increase, one single crochet. Repeat it twice, you'll have eight stitches at the end. Row five, one increase, three single crochets. Repeat that twice, you'll have 10 at the end. For row six, one increase, four single crochets. Repeat it twice, 
You'll have 12 stitches at the end. Row 7, 12 single crochets. Row 8, 1 increase, 5 single crochets. Again, repeat it twice, and you'll have 14 stitches at the end. Row 9, 1 increase, 6 single crochets, repeat it twice, and you'll have 16 stitches at the end. For rows 10 through 15, you're going to do 16 single crochets. Finish off at the end. Make sure you leave a long tail for attaching, stuff it, and go ahead and attach it to the body. Now we're going to go ahead and work on the little, I guess you would call them fins. You're going to make two of these with the same green yarn. First row, magic circle four. Second row, four single crochet. Row three, four increases. You'll end up with eight stitches at the end. Row four, eight single crochets. For row five, one single crochet, one increase, repeat that four times. You'll end up with 12 stitches at the end. Finish off, leave a tail for attaching. There's no need to stuff these and make sure you make two of them. You can either place them horizontally like this, which will help him keep balanced as he's standing, or you can do it vertically like this, which is more true to character. Now we're going to start on the row uh, with light brown yarn, row 1, chain 26. Make sure to test this length around his neck, and if it is the correct length for you, go ahead and just single crochet. Regardless if you have to add or decrease chains to make the rope fit around your Tomberry's neck, uh, just continue the instructions as normal. Um, if you had to add chains, just add single crochets at the end for each row. Row 2, 25 single crochet. Row three, one increase, four single crochets, one increase, 13 single crochets, one increase, four single crochets, and one increase. You'll have 29 stitches at the end. Row 
for rows 4 through 5, just 29 single crochet. Row 6, 1 increase, 6 single crochets, repeat this 4 times, and then 1 increase at the end. You'll have 34 stitches total. For rows 7 through 9, just 34 single crochet. Row 10, 1 increase, 1 single crochet, 1 increase, 28 single crochets, 1 increase, 1 single crochet, followed by 1 increase. You'll have 38 stitches at the end. For row 11, one increase, one single crochet, repeat that two times, followed by one increase, 28 single crochet, one increase, one single crochet, repeat those twice, and then one increase. You'll have 44 stitches at the end. For rows 12 through 13, 44 single crochet. Row 14, one increase, 42 single crochets, then one increase at the end. You'll have 46 stitches total. Finish off, make sure you leave a long tail for sewing. Wrap the rope around the body and sew it closed. Um, as you can see, you're gonna be sewing the ends above his tail. After you're done sewing it closed, you're going to secure it to the body, especially around where the arms will be, just because we're about to add the arms and we don't want them to be hanging off. Now for the arms, we're going to go back to the green. First row is magic circle six. Row two, one single crochet, one increase, repeated three times, you'll have nine total. Rows three through nine, just nine single crochet for each. For row 10, you're gonna chain one, and you're gonna turn the piece, followed by one decrease, two single crochets, and then one decrease. Finish it off, make sure you leave a tail for sewing, and be sure to make two of them. You'll wanna stuff the arms before attaching. Make sure to not overstuff always want to keep the shape of the 
objects that we're making. Go ahead and attach them to body, to the potty after you're done. Now we're going to make the sleeves with the same brown that we used for the robe. For row one, you're going to start with a long starter tail to help us attach to the body. Um, chain 14 and then 13 single crochet. Row two, one increase. 11 single crochets, one increase. You'll have 15 stitches at the end. Row three, one increase, 13 single crochet, one increase. 17 stitches total. Row four, one increase, 15 single crochet, one increase, 19 total. For rows five through seven, go ahead and just 19 single crochet. Finish off, leave a long tail, of course make two, and I'll show you how to attach it to the body. You wanna fold it over the arm, over the top of the arm, with the ends meeting on the bottom. You're going to first sew the ends together. And then you're going to sew it on to sew the sleeve itself onto the body, completely covering the arm. Now we're going to start on the hood. Uh, make sure to leave a long starter tra tail again because uh, we're going to need it to sew onto the body as well as sew onto the second piece of the hood. Chain 12 and 11 si single crochet. You're going to make two of these. Row two, one single crochet, one increase. Repeat that five times, then one single crochet at the end. You'll have 16 stitches total. For rows three and four, 16 single crochet.
for row five, two single crochet, one increase. Repeat that sequence five times, one single crochet at the end, 21 stitches total. Row six, 21 single crochet. Row seven, three single crochet, one increase. Repeat that five times, then one single crochet at the end. You'll have 26 stitches total. Row For rows eight through 12, 26 single crochet. For row 13, you're gonna do 25 single crochet. Yes, we will be skipping the last stitch of this row. You can see we're skipping the last stitch. We're turning. We're going to chain one. We're going to skip the first stitch of this row and do 24 single crochet. Row 15, 23 single crochet. Again, we're skipping the last stitch, turning, chain one, skipping the first stitch of this row, and 22 single crochets. Row 17, 22, 21 single crochet. Again, skipping the last stitch, turning, chain one, skipping the first stitch of this row, and then 20 single crochet. Row 19, 19 single crochet. Again, we're skipping the last stitch. Turning, chain one, skipping the first stitch, and 18 single crochet. Row 21, 17 single crochet. Again, skipping the last stitch, turning, chain one, skipping the first stitch, 16 single crochet. Finish off at the end of that row. Leave a long tail for sewing, and of course make two of them. As you can see, I have both of my pieces laid flat, ready for me to sew together. You wanna have the stair region on the end, as you can see.
my big cake cat. There's a cat. That cat. <laughs> Continue stitching your hood down the side with the stairs. As you can see, the stairs will kind of end up forming together rather perfectly. I tend to find that if I don't like the way my stitches turned out, I can turn the hood inside out. And look, they're so pretty now. Look at that, pretty stitches. Go ahead and attach the hood to the body, to the robe, actually. And since I fold over the hood, I leave, as you can see, a little part in the, in the front, not stitched to the robe, just to make it easier for me to fold back. So see? You can fold it back if you like. I've seen people not fold them back, but whatever, whatever you desire. For the eyes is very simple with uh, gold yarn. Just make uh, a magic circle four, make two of them, and attach them to the body. going to kill you in your sleep. You have been warned. Just kidding. And now for all the extra goodies. We'll start with the knife first. So with light gray yarn, you're going to use a 3.75 millimeter hook. So it's smaller hook than what you did with the rest of the body. Chain nine and then eight single crochet. For rows two through five, eight single crochet for each row. Row six, one decrease, four single crochet, one decrease. You will have six stitches at the end. Row seven, six single crochet. Row eight, one decrease, two single crochet, one decrease. You'll have four stitches. The end. Row nine, four single crochet. Finish off and be sure to leave a tail for sewing. And we're gonna put this aside and work on the knife handle. With the same dark brown yarn that you used for his feet, we're gonna chain five and four single crochet. For rows two through four, just four single crochet total for each row. Go ahead and finish off and leave a tail for sewing. We're gonna fold the handle in half and then sew it shut. put this aside for now and then with the actual knife we're going to do the same thing and fold it in half and sew it closed except for the bottom part leave that open for, for the handle
go ahead and place the handle in the knife and then with the gray, um, sew it shut and sew it tight. And then you can attach the handle to the hand so he'll always have his knife. Now with the lantern, we're going to use the light brown yarn, um, Magic Circle 6. Row 2, 6 increases. You'll have 12 stitches total. For row 3, we're going to be working in back loops only and you're going to do 12 single crochet. For row four, we're gonna switch the color to gold like we used for the eyes. And you're gonna continue in the back loops only and do 12 single crochet. For rows five through seven, we're gonna to switch to going back to both loops and do 12 single crochet. For row eight, we're gonna switch back to the brown. And for this row, we're gonna work in front loops only. You're going to do three single crochet with one increase. Repeat that three times for a total of 15 stitches at the end. Go ahead and begin stuffing your piece. For this row and for the rest, really, you're going to be working in back loops only. You're going to basically decrease until you close the gap. To finish off. Uh, leave a tail for sewing the whole shut completely. For the handle, you're just going to start with the long tail and chain 12. Finish it off and attach it to the top like a handle. And this little guy just kind of slides right onto his hand. Finished. <laughs>